Hi, and welcome back to our activities at Daily Living or Intermediate Level Workout. This is workout number four for the month of May. Quick reminders, go back and do your mobilities, get all warmed up and ready to go, okay? The rep scheme for this workout for the beginning part is a set of nine, two sets of 11, and a set of 13, so we have four rounds, okay? And the equipment you're gonna need is if you have some handles, you can use a towel um, if you need to. Kettlebell, primarily dominant for this part of the workout. You can use two dumbbells if you need to. Something to step up on and a bench or the floor, either way. Not a lot of equipment. This would be a great one to do if you're traveling or you just don't have a lot of stuff with you, okay? So to get started, we're gonna do our single arm deadlift. So when we do this, okay, my palm faces in just slightly, my thumb. Okay, I'm gonna hinge, nice flat back, and come up, squeeze my glutes. Hinge, come up and squeeze my glutes, okay? Nine on one side, nine on the other. I'm gonna take the same kettlebell, maybe, or go a little lighter if you have to, okay? I like to stagger my stance. The flat part of the bell faces your face. Nice big reach up, biceps alongside the ears, and bring it down in front of the face. Up, big reach, and bring it down, okay? Nine of those. You're gonna keep the same kettlebell. So ideally, if you can keep the same weight for all of these exercises, that'd be great. But the one overhead, maybe the one you need to go with a little bit lighter, the ones where you're just holding it or you're deadlifting it, um, you might be able to go a little bit heavier. Okay, so the suitcase style is my left foot is on the box. I'm holding the weight in my right hand and I'm gonna step up with my right and bring it straight back down, up and straight back down. I'm gonna do nine on one side, nine on the other. All right, and then, I'm gonna grab my kettlebell that has the handles on it, a nice neutral grip. I'm gonna hinge and I'm gonna row, okay? So as you can see, my shoulders are back and down. The weight is in my glutes and my hamstrings. I'm pulling up towards my chest and I'm really getting a good squeeze in my middle to upper back and nine of those. So you're gonna repeat everything for 11, then another 11 and then 13, then those exercises are done. Okay, so we're gonna grab um, another, a kettlebell for the second part and our reps for this are eight, 10, 12, and 14. So we have odd numbers for, or e odd numbers for the first set, first section of the workout, and then odd number, even numbers for the second part of the workout. So we're gonna do some kettlebell, so hinge, and then high pull like you're trying to rip the handles off that kettlebell, okay? So nice hinge, get a good stretch up and rip apart, nice high T for eight, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and grab some lighter weights. We're gonna do some front to lateral raises. So front, side, that's one repetition. Front, side, that's two. So you repeat that until you get to eight, okay? And then the third one is a push up hold step together. Okay, so you can do this on the floor or you can do it on the bench, whichever you choose. But you're in your nice high plank position, either way, okay? Step the feet in, step them out. That's one repetition. So in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, okay? That is what you do. So in, in, out, out is one rep and you'll do that for eight. Repeat those three exercises for 10, then for 12, and then for 14 and then you are done with your workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. It was a good one, a little bit of a brain challenge with the rep scheme, and I look forward to seeing you here for the rest of the workouts. Bye for now.